What kind of a struggling artist are you? Slap your mama. Slap your mama. <coughs> Pumpkin spice and everything nice. That'll be cute. Or this face. <gasps> Jack Skellington, that's how I did my pumpkin last year. Was it you good? Should, that. should I? Yes. Okay. Hi guys, my name's Hi. Ashley. I'm Megan. She's my roommate. Yay. Today we are painting and carving pumpkins and we're gonna tell some spooky and silly Halloween stories. Hopefully we have something good. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, I remember one Halloween. It's not really a story but my mom she has pictures of like all of our costumes from every year except one year she forgot to take a picture of me so there's one year when I don't have a costume picture oh that's when I was a hippie yeah. one year I was a table no, I was <laughs> so basically the gist of it was my head was coming through the table so like my head was being served um, and my brother and me back then, we always were matching costumes. Not like the same costumes, but like partner costumes. Yeah. So he was a stool. <laughs> and he, there was oh like a menu God. taped on top of it. That's so funny. So what happened was I was going too fast for him and he wasn't able to keep up while we were trick or treating. And he like started freaking out, getting really upset because people were like, what are you? Because <laughs> he's like, I'm a chair. <laughs> I'm sorry, River, I hope you don't see this, but I love you. Oh my god. My <laughs> brother and I did coordinating costumes too. Aww. What was your favorite one? Um, he was a firefighter and I was a Dalmatian. That's yeah. so cute. Aww. That smells really good. In like a disgusting way. Pumpkin? to work at Nightmare at Beaver Lake, the haunted house. Um, people would try to sneak in through the woods and we would get people, like drunk guys, coming down through the forest thinking they're like super sneaky, coming into like Nightmare at Beaver Lake and trying not to pay. We would always like catch them and like have to call the police. Oh no! <laughs> it was bad. What were you dressed up as? I've done so many different things. It like depends on the year. And you're different things every night. So I've been like torture victims, I've been ghosts, I've been Effie from the Hunger Games. Oh, that's cool. I want to see a picture. I was a card guard in an Alice in Wonderland set. I was a cannibal. Oh, like, yeah. You, I've been everything. The cannibal one was fun because my friend was a victim and then I was hiding and at the time I was maybe like 13 so it was like this little girl like creepy looking Aww. Um, one time I like wore my footy pajamas and I was a little girl and my friend Tessa was the monster hiding under my bed and so she would freak people out by like jumping out of a closet or like sliding out from underneath the bed she had really creepy makeup on I don't know how old I was probably maybe middle school I went into this haunted house and um, the clown chased with the chainsaw chased me out and I fell down while he was chasing me on the gravel and I have scars on my knees from it and he Gosh. kept chasing me to my car. Oh my god. He didn't stop. He didn't take the hit and my parents wouldn't unlock it because they thought it was funny. Oh my god. So now That's I don't awesome. like evil clowns. Really? <laughs> mm -hmm. Too bad you're living right now. Oh my clowns. god. I know. Someone saw one of those evil clowns in, um, where did you say? Fairhaven. In the path near our apartment. Oh. I probably have a seizure or a heart attack. They wouldn't have to murder me. They would just, like, you'd be dead. Oh yeah, for sure. Jack and Sally. This used movie used to scare the shit out of me when I said hello. Alright. How should I paint it? Or, I mean, car it. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I go for it? Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite um, scary movie? Favorite scary movie? I've seen Insidious like 12 times. That's a good one. 
that's pretty scary. I'm not, I don't know. Purge is good, even though that's not really that scary. Yeah, it's like a good thriller yeah. sort of thing. I'm not really that into scary movies. I mean, I like them, but I don't go out of my way to watch them. Okay. Fair enough. The Strangers. The, do you know the preface? No. Basically, this girl and this guy, he proposes to her, and she's like, no. No, so they go to his like his family's cabin and he had rose petals everywhere and because he thought he was she was gonna say yes. Um and so they're like kinda sad and he goes to the store to get some smokes. He's stressed out, blah blah blah. And um the scariest scene I've ever seen is she's sitting there and she's like putting her boots on because she's freaked out because she knows something's weird going on. And this figure in black with this creepy mask walks behind her. Oh my god. And I just screamed. And so when I was in high school we had like 40 people over and they were watching the movie on the projector. And so my dad just starts making these scary noises and all the dudes just like freaked out. And we're like, oh my god. It was so funny. I don't know. There's, I have a hallway in my house and I always think of that you can see your reflection, so I'm always like, oh my god, what if I saw my reflection and saw someone behind me? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look. Oh, it's oh, cute. You did that really fast. This one's actually a pretty easy one to carve. Good. And when I was little, we were, my family was in eastern Washington, and my mom bought this book of uh, urban legends, and one of them is called The Butcher. Have you ever heard that story? Oh. It's so scary. Oh man. So basically, um, this young woman is going out of town and it's the first time she's going on a trip by herself and mom's like, be careful, there's like a crazy person on the loose and she's like, okay mom, whatever, I'm an independent oh, human being, it's fine. And so she's driving and she stops at this gas station and um, she gets out and the gas, the cashier guy is super sketchy and she gets kind of freaked out and so she runs back to her car after she pays for her gas and so she runs out after her and is like, wait, come back inside and she's really freaked out and she's like, this guy's the murderer because he's like super unshaven and she's like totally judging him because he looks scary. She's like, mm, why do you need me to get out of the car? He's super sketchy AF. And he's like, well, you didn't need it. There's change involved. And she's like, you can just keep the change. And he's like, no, I owe you change. And she's like, it's fine. And then he's like, trying to get her out. And he's like, no, no, you owe me change. I mean, so she's like, you're a psycho. I'm leaving. So she screeches away. <laughs> she screeches away really fast. And she's like, mm, I'm a capable independent woman. My mom was wrong. And, um, but then he gets in his car and starts like chasing her down the road. And she's like, what the fuck? And, um, so she realizes that she's at this apple orchard that she's by this apple orchard she used to go to as a kid. Um, and she knows that if she pulls in right here, it's, he wouldn't see and then he would crash into like this big wall because it's really dark out. And so she does that and this guy gets in a car accident and his car catches on fire. Mm -hmm. And she's like, mm, I did it. I got rid of this scary creepy guy who escaped from me in his island jail. Blah, blah, blah. And then she looks in her rear view mirror and she sees this guy grinning oh with this gosh. huge butcher knife. And then it ends! The end! What? The end! She killed the wrong guy! She killed the wrong guy! He was just trying to help because he saw the butcher in the back. That's fucked up. And so I was a little kid, mm -hmm. so ever since then I always check my the back of my car. Oh my gosh. For butchers. For a butcher. Or a clown. Oh, or a clown, honestly. Uh -huh. Oh, it's so cute. He's got eyebrows to make him look mean, but you can't really tell. It's adorable. Ta-da! Beautiful! He's bleeding. There's pumpkin blood coming out. See? <laughs> I'm gonna do a better pumpkin when I go home. To put at my parents' house. But this one we'll do for here. You can catch it on Instagram. This is Christy, a sweet mate. She yeah. has a story. Your head's cut off. So. Oh no! I was really little. I was like in kindergarten. I was a bathtub. And so my mom <laughs> took a laundry basket and tied it around my waist and cut out the bottom and filled with like little pink balloons. We had a parade Aww. for all the kindergartners. It was a really windy day and all the bubbles kept blowing out of my bathtub. Oh my god. <laughs> Plus, like, cause you know, it was like a little strap, like that would hold it up. Yeah. That broke, so I had to like carry my bathtub around during this parade with all this music. Oh it was just all the people thought it was adorable, but here I am just like carrying it around. It was just so bad. Oh, that's cute. Try to treat yourself. Yes. Parks and Rec plug. Beautiful handwriting. What? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so stupid. I love.
of Stranger Things. Oh, a TV show? No. Oh, no. It's the movie. I said the wrong word phrase. Stranger Things is a TV show. <laughs> I also think I just got paint on my face. <laughs>